Welcome to my video tutorial on how to make a sound meter using the LM. Let's see, it's 3915. In this video, I'm just hoping to give you a little bit of direction, a little bit of hints, a little bit of um, advice on what to do and what not to do. This is actually my second project that I did. I did one last year during winter break, and that was this um, LED cube. If you want to learn how to make that, uh, I have a video in the description you can click on but that was a pretty fun one it's really cheap too this one's a little bit more expensive as you'll see so I'm just gonna show you what you're gonna need to start off and here's my list see you focus there. so here's my list um, of things that you're gonna get as you can see down there at the bottom is gonna be about 70 bucks all together now the plexiglass was pretty expensive you can see on the top you might be able to find it cheaper somewhere else, um, but I just looked online to custom, custom made uh, plexiglass, and that's what I found. So I don't know if it'll be cheaper somewhere else, but that's what I did. But that's pretty much uh, half the cost, or more than half, as you can see. Um, then you're gonna need all these things: the LM3915, which is the actual chip. It's a very simple chip, easy to wire up. I'll show you a data sheet here in a little bit. I also have one in the description link in the description you can click on and look at. But it's really easy to wire up. Then you're gonna have your audio jack, a pre-soldered board, which is gonna be this thing. And then a power regulator. You can uh, regulate the power. I think I have mine at 3.8 volts with the use of resistors, but I'll show you how to do that too. Um, you're gonna have need LEDs, any color you want, but blue and green. Um, have the same voltage drop and it's just a lot easier to wire up uh, blue and green instead of a whole bunch of different colors and that's why I did that. Um, it looks like I made a typo there. It's supposed to be 3.5 millimeter audio splitter and then also a male to male audio jack. Then you need PVC as you can see down here the spacers, those black spacers there are all PVC as well as black spray paint and then these rods here at the end quarter 20 rods and then those uh, bolts right there too to bolt them on keep everything together um, and then that's all you're gonna need at Lowe's and here's some things that I already had that's why I don't have a price for them so if you don't have them eBay is a good spot, TI is a pretty good spot, Texas Instruments, instruments. So just hit those places up and see what you can find. For those resistors, you probably need uh, five plus or minus five percent is good enough, and ten percent is as well. It's not a big deal on this small amount of a project, um, but you're gonna need a hundred ohm, 200, 220 ohm as well, and then small jumper wires, um, as you can see on the board there. Let me focus a little better. But as you can see, those yellow and orange ones there. That's what I mean by that. Um, longer wires, which are found here, that'll hook that uh, wire up the LEDs, uh, as well as a household wire. And what I mean by that is this right here. This uh, is just a bare copper wire, and it runs the whole length of the of my meter. And then. A wall wart 18 volt which is actually right here um, I just used a old one from I don't know I found it in a drawer in our house just use that um, then zip ties soldering iron solder you don't you're gonna use quite a bit of solder on this maybe not as much as the LED cube but quite a bit um, inline power switch if you want I don't have it all I all I do is unplug the wall wart over there and then that's my off switch then the PC PCB board and I have that right here um, put it down here it's just basically this is the same as this except you can kind of arrange stuff and check things out is really helpful to just use this as a testing platform to make sure everything works before you actually solder onto that one um, so you have make sure you have everything working correctly. You don't want to wire everything up and then all of a sudden, oh stink! I uh, forgot to do something or 
forgot to put something in and then you have to unsolder which is just a pain so it's just a little bit easier to have one of these guys um, and kind of do your testing on that um, so yeah that is what you're going to need so it's kind of pricey but it's a really cool result you also could probably cut this cost in half if you only want to do like a half of one and just did half of that and then it'd just be one meter but I have left and right speakers I'll show you what I mean by that um, so as you can see it's basically this is the right speaker and this is the left speaker um, and it just displays what the speakers uh, putting out so that's what you're gonna need and now we'll move on to how to put it together so the first thing I did was start out with the structure now use use these rods and then put a washer here at the end and then stack all of the plexiglass and all the tubing on now uh, the PVC is about one inch maybe a little like a sixteenth less I forget what I did but it's about a one inch spacing so this whole thing is going to be about tw 20 inches or so um, you need to do that on both sides and then just kind of center it up on this side and this side and this makes a really good uh, use for uh, hanging it on a wall so those little extra things sticking out you can cut them off if you want not a big deal I just left them on there now you'll have to cut holes in there so that it'll fit the rods will fit through them I think it was like a 3 8 bit maybe not exact don't exactly remember you want to cut holes there in the corner for the zip tie to fit in so that they have a, a good place to zip the wires together so it'll be nice and neat there as you can see there's a zip tie and then it's kind of holding the wires in I do that every two blocks so that's how I kept the wires together now on to the LEDs the drill hole that I used was just barely enough for the LEDs to fit in and then some of them that were a little bit loose I used a tad bit of super glue just to keep them in there so that should be our right and what I did here as I remember this 3.8 3.8 volt output coming from the power regulator I connected that let's see where is that oh right here connected that right there so that's all thing all has 5 volts and then I just connected these LEDs in parallel and then I took the grounds down to the LM3915 and remember that the LM3915 is an open collector which means basically that you connect the ground to the chip instead of the positive side um, so that's why I have the ground going into the chip and not the the positive side um, so I just drilled holes for all of those made sure those were stuck in there good enough and then I was ready to stack them all on there so first I'm gonna start off with how to wire this board up it's actually super super simple um, I have my wall warp positive and negatives coming in over here and so I believe this top one's the ground and the bottom one's uh, positive. So then you'll just hit up the data sheet and I'll put that up in the link like I said. Um, and then just kind of wire it together. Now the one, this resistor over here is going to be the 470. This one right here is the 100. This one is the, I believe it's 220. And this one's the same as this guy, so it's 470. And basically you just wire up this first one and then do the exact same thing over here um, and then for the power regulator you're basically going to well I'll just follow what I did there I'm not going to explain it but as you can see that kind of connects they like that and then down that this wire right here connects to the middle pin indirectly so that's the output um, and that will go to the LEDs now these down here wires are go to the LEDs so that's what those are um, and each I'd get a little bit of a color code here so I make sure I got everything right it's not super as, it's not as confusing as it needs to be um, and then as you can see I'll flip this over here as you can see on the bottom here I have my input audio input um, going to here and I got this audio jacket radio shack I just have the left and right going into 
this side, this LM chip and then the right side going into that one. And here is how I connect it to my computer. I just plug this into where it normally plugs in the left and right speakers and then this one goes to my computer. This one goes to my audio jack on the back of my meter, my sound meter. So this is a audio uh, splitter. Make sure it's not mono, make sure it's audio if you want to get the left and right. This will keep the, the audio will keep the left and right but the mono will not keep the left and right. It'll just be like this one's left and this one's right. So make sure you get an audio splitter and not a mono splitter. So that's how I built mine. Now you could use this in many different forms. This, this is just the, the way I did it with the left and right speaker. You could put this, I don't know, maybe like on a Christmas tree with the uh, bottom rung around a Christmas tree with bottom lights and then the second level, third level, etc. all the way to the top of the tree and you could have the Christmas tree going to music. Um, you could do several different things with this. Give it a try. Uh, I've left a lot of information, a lot of helpful links in the description, as well as like the, like the data sheet and some of the other stuff. So if you have any questions, leave a comment, and I will try to get back to you. I'm not the best at getting back on YouTube. I check it every once in a while, but if you have a question, I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. But it probably won't be really, really fast. So I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully you can make your own without any difficulties by watching this video. Have a good one.